Hey everybody, my name is Casey and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we still don't have any reactions unfortunately, but we are on my new island, Tea Light, and in this video I am going to be showing you all the fastest way I know how to unlock terraforming. So here is my map. I had two other houses placed down. I have, I'm trying to remember who moved into them. I think one is Blue Bear and I can't, I can't remember the other one right now, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to give you all the best tips and tricks and pointers I know on how to unlock terraforming as quickly as possible. Since I have reset my island so many times, I honestly kind of feel like a professional in this area. So the first step is to get and craft a bunch of items and catalog as many items as you can and then do what I'm doing right here. Literally just go around your entire island and place them everywhere. Now I have seen some people be able to place them all in like kind of one section of their island, but personally for me it works best if I kind of spread them out across my island and kind of make the game think that I've actually fully decorated this entire island. So for this part of the video, I'm gonna just speed this up because otherwise, you know, I don't think anybody's gonna wanna watch me just randomly throwing stuff all around my island, but I, you know, maybe. And for those of you who do wanna watch that, you still have that content. But no, all jokes aside, um, it really doesn't matter. Like I mentioned, it doesn't have to be like aesthetic or have to be like you need a chair and a table and another chair and an item on top of that table. Literally, I've done this with at least three islands, just throwing stuff wherever I wanted to go, pretty much. So now what I'm gonna do is time travel to the next day, so I'm gonna just go through these announcements. Okay, so we got our little villager, Blue Bear, and I time traveled again, and we have Daisy. So Daisy was the second villager, and as you can see, we have the little Able Sister shop. Since I always mess up their names, I'll just, you know, keep it as calling her the Able Sister shop. Um, but if you didn't know, in order to get her to want to move to your island or move the Able Sister shop to your island, you need to spend at least five 5,000 bells with her so I am just grabbing the bells right now from my ABD and then I'm gonna go ahead and go back out and buy some very fashionable clothing items from her so I in the past haven't done it this like this method or in this way before like just getting the 5,000 bells so I make sure I spend that amount um, but I definitely recommend doing this because that way you know for sure that you've spent at least 5,000 bells and you don't have to keep buying and buying stuff because they there is a lot of dialogue in the beginning of the game and going through and buying all of these things is it can be a bit tiring sometimes so I would definitely recommend doing that and so after I do this I'm gonna just skip ahead to the next day and I believe we should have yeah so we do have resident services upgrading so that is very very exciting hello Tom Okay, resident services is closed. So you do have to have the upgraded resident services in order to unlock terraforming. So these next clips, you'll just see me time traveling every day and going through the morning announcements. Um, here we have it finally all built up, but like I was saying, you do have to have it upgraded because then you get Isabel, and when you get Isabel, she is able to give you the island evaluation system. So she is the one who will actually be the person you are talking Talking to to find out if you have unlocked terraforming or not so it it was pretty easy so far I mean just going around decorating your island with a couple well not a couple as you can see here I have a bunch of different items and then talking to Sable or Mabel whatever her name is and then just skipping ahead every couple days and making sure you get your resident services upgraded so now I am just talking to Tom and Isabel because it is now the resident services building, not tent anymore. So there they will talk you through the new services that the upgraded building has to offer. And Tom is also telling me about building up our island community and Project K. So Project K is the project that you are assigned to, I guess if you want to say it like that, in order to get KK Slider to come to your island. And once you get KK Slider to perform on your island, that is how you unlock terraforming. So if you're new to Animal Crossing, basically KK Slider 
is this kind of famous musician and your whole goal for New Horizons, or at least in the beginning part of the game, is to get your island rating up enough so that KK Slider will consider coming to your island to play. And once your island is good enough for KK Slider, it is good enough for you to start making some more changes on. So yeah, right now what we are doing is just running through my island and trying to find a place for the campsite and also just picking up any weeds or like random items that I think I now have enough items down. But anyways, we have a place for our campsite and so now that we have this place down, it's also just a matter of time traveling until you can get the game to trigger your first campsite visitor. So that's kind of what I'm doing here and now I'm gonna time travel and as you can see we have a visitor at the campsite. Now on my last island I think it was Rodney that was my campsite visitor and so now I am just gonna go ahead and run back over to my campsite. I mean if it's anyone other than Rodney I'll be happy. And who do we have here? Oh, okay, I mean, we have Ed. That's fine, so now the campsite visitor will not give you an option to tell them no, so you should live here or move here, so I have to tell him to move here. And then he tells you basically just to go ahead and check with the guy who runs the place, so you just go ahead and talk to Tom Nook and let him know that the visitor wants to move in. And I believe it is at this point that next kind of dialogue should trigger itself. So by next kind of dialogue, I just mean that Tom should give you a plot to put down for the campsite visitor. So yep, leave it to me. I will go ahead and pick out the location for Ed's house. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and come back out here and pick a place for him. So I had mentioned this in my last video. If you didn't see that video, I will link it above, but I always try and place as many houses and shops on the beaches as I can. It just makes it easier when you finally do unlock terraforming. So I just placed Ed's plot on the beach, and now I'm gonna go back in and talk to Tom and let him know that I found a good spot. All right, hello, hello. Yes, I did find a place. So it says we're gonna have new friends. Basically, he tells me about improving the infrastructure on the island, so now I'm just time traveling to the next day, so Ed will have been all moved in, and we're getting close to unlocking it. I think we're almost able to unlock it. I'm going to just go ahead and go on into resident services, and here Tom will let you know about building up the island's infrastructure, and Isabel will tell you, or Tom, I think she's talking to, that she will help with that. So now I'm going to just go talk to him about the next part of Project K. So he's basically telling us that we need to improve the island feedback and so this is where we unlock the island rating system with Isabel. I'm actually going to go ahead and grab another plot because I believe you need at least a certain number of villagers so I'm going to grab this plot and possibly one more in the video. But like I was saying, I'm not sure if there's exactly a minimum. I typically have had anywhere between 5 and 7 visitors. I'm going to try and keep it at 5 for this island. So I'm just throwing down a couple more items here just to, you know, make sure that I can unlock the uh, terraforming. So after I throw down a few more items, I will go ahead and place this plot down. Because I've put so many items down already, I'm kind of running tight on space on my beaches, but that's okay. I'm going to take my time with moving in villagers anyways. I might not even get all 10 on this island because that just leaves more room for terraforming. You don't need to get all 10 villagers. The only reason you would need to get all 10 is if you want to use amiibos, so just keep that in mind. And here I'm just planting some flowers. So flowers are also really important in order to unlock terraforming. So I just grabbed a bunch of hybrid flowers from a treasure island and I'm just kind of putting them all in the same area because I will have to dig these up later, which is a little bit more time consuming. But anyways, I just time traveled to the next day, so we got baby Sherb on our island. I'm really, really excited to have Sherb. I'm going to keep him. His exterior of his house fits really nicely with my island theme. And now the last part that I'm going to do is just throw down some random fencing. You do need fencing in order to unlock terraforming, so I'm just, as you can see, there's no rhyme or reason here. This is kind of like a speed run to unlock terraforming. So I'm just kind of throwing it, you know, wherever I feel it will the easiest, yeah, I guess, to clean up afterwards. But now I'm gonna head back in to resident services. 
I am actually gonna go ahead and grab another plot because I just wanna be sure that I have the accurate number of villagers on my island. So I'm just talking to Tom about that right now. And then I also am going to, after I place this plot, I'm gonna see if I can get the Able sisters to be back in the plaza. So I wanna place down their shop as well. Like today we have Leaf, so I think we should have the Able sisters shop coming into the plaza tomorrow. So I'm just going ahead and trying to see if I can fit this last little plot on my land over there. I can't, so I just moved that little butterfly model and put it on the beach. So now I think we definitely have enough villagers. I believe I am currently at six villagers. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and time travel to the next day. So here are my announcements. So we got Judy. I'm really, really looking forward to having Judy back on my island. And I am gonna go over to the plaza and see if we have uh, the Able Sister shop, and we do. So I think she has to come to your island at least two or three times, and then the last time she'll ask you if you can find a place for her shop. So I am gonna just talk to her about this right now and then go ahead and place down their shop and then I will go talk to Isabel about our island evaluation. Um, I am gonna place this right here and then I'm gonna time travel just to the next day just to be certain that I have as many buildings and houses down as possible without having to build any more villager plots. So let's go ahead and run over to resident services and see what Isabel has to say. And of course, a little bam stops me along the way. I thought I was gonna get my first reaction, but he just gave me this little, I think it was a beach chair or study chair. But let's go ahead and talk to Isabel if I could only get on the chair. So let's see what she has to say. So you just go to Let's Discuss Island of Vales, and there we go, a three star rating. So like I had mentioned, I've done this so many times before, I, you can kind of get the feel of when you're gonna unlock it or when you're getting close to. So this little dialogue like between Tom and Isabel is really, really cute and her little reaction right there, like they're so excited to have the world famous KK Slider on our island. So after you go through this dialogue, it's honestly just a matter of Tom making this little phone call and then I believe when you save and quit and time travel to the next day, KK Slider will be there. I know it used to be different. I think he would only show up on certain weekend days um, for unlocking terraforming, I think. Don't quote me on that, but now I'm almost certain and I'm just basing this off of my own island experiences that he will come the next day because that's how it's been on my last two islands that I have reset. So let's go ahead and finish up this dialogue and then we will skip ahead to the next day and watch the KK Slider concert. So here we are at the morning announcements and the most wonderful thing happened. We got our tailor shop. Okay, great. So happy about that. And let's get to the more important part. The incredible musician KK Slider is here to perform at Tea Light. Yay! So now it takes you directly to KK Slider, kind of like live feed of his concert. So these are all the villagers that I have. So I have Stitches, Sherb, Daisy, Ed, Judy, Blue Bear, and Bam. Oh, okay, so I actually had seven villagers. So, I mean, that's fine. I mean, I guess for this one, I needed seven. I think there was a time where I needed six villagers, but it's okay. Anyways, I hope that this video was helpful for you all, and I hope that you learned some things along the way. Basically, the biggest takeaway tips that I can give you guys would be to plant as many flowers as you can, and then craft and catalog what you can. I know it's hard when you restart unless you have, you know, a bunch of friends in the community, but you can always use Nookazon to catalog new items. And I know there's a bunch of um, other things like Reddit you can use to trade people and Discord servers. So try and get as many resources as you can in order to fill up your island, kind of like how I did. I just did a treasure island because it's quicker to do and it's helped me unlock terraforming quickly because that's the part I love the most about this game is the designing and decorating aspect. So I always try to unlock it as quickly as possible, but I totally understand if that's not your play style. Either way, I hope that this video was able to help you a little bit, even if you don't time travel or anything. Now you kind of know if you are struggling with unlocking terraforming, hopefully you have some 
kind of little tips and tricks you can use along the way in order to try and see you know if you tried everything but maybe you you left one thing out unintentionally hopefully I was able to give you some ideas and helpful tips for unlocking terraforming but other than that I as you can see right here my little rep just got the island designer app from Tom I also just wanted to note that yes I will have to go around and clean up all of these items but it would probably only take me like 10 minutes and I just also wanted to add in that after you clean up all of the items you're not gonna lose terraforming or anything even if you go back down to one or two stars so I will be cleaning all of that up right as soon as I'm done recording this and that's pretty much all I have for this video so if you like this video please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel I had such a fun time making this for you and I am looking forward to starting on this new island and bringing you all along on this journey with me like I had mentioned earlier, I don't have any reactions, so I can't wave goodbye, but I will see you in the next one, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!